everybody, Chris G here, Positively Progressing. Thank you so much for tuning in. Got something really cool for you today. Not only do I have two special guests. Hey, what's up guys? My name is Colin Gordon. Hey, Steve Cortica here. But they are sharing two fives in odd meters. That's right, you heard me correctly. Odd meter, two fives. If you're like me and you have difficulty playing in odd meters, these two guys have just come out with a book that's gonna solve your mixed meter struggles. So this book they came out with is an amazing book. It's called A Practical Approach to Odd Meters. This book is jam-packed with great stuff. And for under $20, this is incredibly valuable for learning the fundamentals of odd meter improvisation. There's a link below, so after the video, please go check it out and buy this book because I promise you, you will not regret it. Let me give you a sneak peek. Like it says on the cover, over 30 play along tracks and 150 exercises. These guys wrote odd meter etudes over the blues and well-known standards like St. Thomas, All the Things You Are, Summertime, Eternal Triangle, and more. They also have some of your favorite musicians and content creators playing through all of the examples and exercises that they have written. People like Jay Metcalf, Better Sex. Check out Jay's guns in those shots. Nice, who knew? Better jacked, jacked sax. Stuart Mack, Nathan Grabiel, also known as Saxologic, and they're all with a killer rhythm section. But wait, there's more. On top of etudes, they also have different approaches to playing mixed meters, through fixed rhythms, note groupings, micro and macro rhythms, as well as polyrhythms. But wait, there's more. They have 24 chord sequencing workouts, and 12 extended line workouts to isolate different chord qualities, as well as two fives. Which leads us here, two five Tuesday. So they have 24 two five lines written in odd meters. Pretty awesome. Colin and Steve have been nice enough to share a couple of two fives with us today. Let's take a listen to Colin's first. <laughs> It sounds like bird playing in seven. Here it is again, a little slower. This is a really nice line and he makes it sound so easy. So this is a quick two, five and seven. He's starting on E minor flat five or E half diminished and that lasts four bars. And then the A7 flat nine lasts for three bars. And if you're ending, then it would resolve to a D minor chord. Now, if you wanna keep sequencing this, you'll just be going down by whole steps until you get back to the starting key. Then you'll have to go up or down a half step to get the other six keys. There isn't anything crazy about this line. I think the most difficult part about it is just getting to feel in seven, really getting that, how does seven feel? Cause we're so used to two or three or four. We're not used to playing in seven. We're not used to playing in five, but there's really nothing tricky going on as far as the melody of this two five. Another great thing about this book is that drummer that you're hearing comes along with the book. So you're gonna be able to play with a live drummer while you practice these odd meters. Let's break it down real quick. So the line starts on the flat three, then walks up scale wise to the flat five, then chromatically descends back down to the three, and that continues down to the root where he adds a little ornamentation and you'll see a seven three resolution. Then it's a three to a flat nine arpeggio. Once he hits the flat nine, then he walks that down and you'll see another seven three resolution to the three of either the one chord, the minor one chord, or you're, like I said, you're going to that half diminished chord a whole step down and you're repeating this line and linking them together. Boom, first one down. Okay, Steve's gonna do a big two five or a four bar two five in five. Now you can resolve this line to major or minor. All of Steve's demonstrations are resolving it to a minor key. Let's hear Steve rip on this line a little bit and show all the different variations of what you can do on the one chord. <laughs> Uh, 
Here's the line a little bit slower. As you can see, these guys are extremely well versed in odd meters. They have no problems playing in odd meters. They feel comfortable. They make it sound really good. And that's not an easy thing to do. I'm a big believer in learning things in all aspects of life from absolute experts in the field. That's why this book is so valuable. Two of these odd meter masters have come together and written a great resource to hand, basically hold your hand through these different odd meters and how to master them. To show you how well this book works, I'm putting together a progress video of me playing odd meters right now and then how I progress using this book. In a couple months, I'll display my playing and what I've learned and how my rhythmic concepts have totally evolved just from using this one resource. Okay, let's break Steve's line down real quick. So he's starting on the nine. He's flipping the major seventh chord that you build off the flat three. He's flipping that upside down, going down that arpeggio, then going back up, all the way back up to the 11, which is gonna lead us into the five chord. Once he hits the five seven chord, which is an altered chord, he plays a classic altered dominant line and resolves it to the one of the five chord, in this case, the B flat. Then he's just playing a B flat augmented triad. Power of three, just saying, before landing on the nine of the one chord. And as you can hear and see, what you do when you get to the one chord is totally up to you. So that's it. The link below will take you to this book. Go buy it. I promise you, you will not regret it. Even if you feel like you're not ready for odd meters, or if you feel like you've mastered odd meters, I promise you there's gonna be something in this book that is gonna blow you away. It's gonna help you in all aspects of playing music, not just odd meters. There's a free PDF below of both of these lines, as well as a new PDF bundle I just put together. High five. That's it for this week. Thank you so much. 2,696 subscribers. I can't thank you all enough. Just remember, until next time, always positive, always progressing. Later.